I'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading Libra. <laughs> I was meditating on your energy and I was getting like you have a passionate new love coming in or a passionate new beginning um, coming in towards you. Um, and I'm laughing because new life just popped out. <laughs> That's your overall energy. That's why I was laughing. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages. Messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? <laughs> Can't talk. All right. So Libra, um, deep knowing. So you're following your intuition here. There's signs, synchronicities, or you're just really tired of past crap and you're just really like all right i'm not putting up with it no more this new year i'm focused i'm dedicated i'm changing the way i think i'm changing the way that i view love view relationships um and i feel like you have like a brand new start happening for you i feel like it's gonna light you up uh let's see what's your person's overall energy here what's your person's overall energy libra your person what's going on libra's person flexible and to the sea all right this could be a return of an ex or someone from the past but i feel like things are going to move on to calmer waters here this is like the six of swords to the sea your person might be like, all right, you know what? I'm also going to change my ways and put things behind me and start new. Um, for some of you, this could be a brand new connection. For some of you, it's not. Uh, and then we have flexible with an egg. I feel like there's like a flexible new beginning happening here between this connection. And we have yin, which is the yin and yang, right? This is the softer, compassionate, loving, caring, nurturing side, all right? Uh, and Treasure Island. So I feel like you guys see the value, the worth in this. Like the juice is worth the squeeze here, but there's a turtle. So it's like, let's just go with the flow, take things slow and not try to rush into anything. Let's be flexible and open. And I feel like your intuition radar is like going off like crazy about this. Like you kind of know this is the direction that you need to go in and what to do. All right, so Libra, uh, let's get into it. Your person's current energies. Keep in mind, Libra, they could be your energies. It is a general reading, so you can flip-flop and reverse them as you see fit, but don't force anything, all right? All right, current energies, Libra's person in love. Current energies, what's going on? Okay, all right, this could be a reconciliation for some of you. I feel like your person has just made a very big decision whether this is choosing you, leaving something behind, or choosing to come towards you and reconciling this, um, I feel like they had a wake-up call, an epiphany, an aha moment, all right? Um, scorpionic energy here with the karma card, or you guys just finished a very important karmic cycle. A lesson has been learned here, all right? Whether it's you, your person, or both, all right? But I feel like there's some kind of epiphany, aha moment, wake up call, or a reconciliation going on here. We have King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Water Sign, and then the Empress, Taurus Energy. For some of you, you could have children with this person, or um, they may want to start a family with you, uh, male or female, you guys, it doesn't matter, there's no gender in tarot. I feel like there is a strong emotional attachment here, but there's also, again, that loving, caring, nurturing energy, abundant, grounded, um, fertile energy, a new beginning. All right. Um, good, good energy. I'd expect some communication. If you haven't heard from this person or there was like a break in communication or something like that going on, expect something to come in from this person or the communication could just be very like light, fun, flirty, fast, moving, you know, getting to know each other or reestablishing each other or whatever. All right. Um, so expect that to come in too. All right. What else? What else? What else? Six of cups. I do feel this is someone from your past. Um, this could be someone from childhood that you knew or someone you do have children with. Um, I feel like this person is reminiscing, looking back, thinking back on old memories, pictures, uh, nostalgic energy here. 
there could be a level of like being young, youthful, lighthearted, playful, that kind of a thing going on too. Well, 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 we have eight of wands. There it is again. It wanted to come out. Communication. All right. What is this communication about? Huh. Ace of cups. A new start in love. I'm telling you, you have like a passionate new beginning happening here. So whether it's new or old, whatever, but it's something that I feel is going to be valued and, and strong. All right. there, It's worth it. I'm feeling like this is worth it. And I feel like you know that. And it's going to kind of put you into a whole new like energy, a whole new life, like feeling like lit up. All right, let's see. What's blockages? Blockages here, Libra. Blockages. Blockages, Libra. Blockages. What's going on? Three of Pentacles. All right, so this is you guys in the past or something. Maybe somebody had a commitment issue or a commitment or a issue with like leveling up or moving in together or starting a family or it was just very small stability it wasn't full-blown stability let's move in with each other let's do life together let's you know bring our let's get on the same page let's collaborate teamwork I feel like there was a break in that all right somebody wanted a higher level of commitment and I feel like the other one maybe didn't at the time. So I feel like maybe that was a, a cause for this. Or um, you or your person could have been in a higher level of commitment with somebody else. All right. Just throwing that out there. Um, for some of you, there could have been like ghosting or just this person disappeared out of nowhere and left you wondering why. Um, expect that communication. All right. After a period of no contact or not talking or whatever. All right. Because again, I feel like this person had a wake-up call. All right, what else? Blockages, blockages. <laughs> it wanted to come out, the hermit. Yeah, Virgo energy. Either your person just experienced a dark night of the soul, or you did, or both. Um, really going within, really reflecting, causing this aha moment, this epiphany, wake-up call. Or I feel like what was blocking this was somebody just up and ghosted or cut off communication, blocked you, you blocked them, whatever that means to you, all right? Because um, someone could have been stuck in something else or there could have been like, if they had fear of commitment, which also could be the case, I feel like it was keeping them like a fear of being stuck or a fear of missing out or, you know what I mean? Like that there was a, it's fear-based. Fear of the unknown, <laughs> right? Three of swords, yeah. There was some heartache, pain. Um, may not necessarily be experienced in this connection, but it could have been at some point. Um, this person, I feel, had a fear of getting hurt again. So hurt people tend to hurt people, right? So this person could have been hurt or suffering um, deep within, not on the exterior, and maybe has caused some pain here. Um, could have stepped out of the relationship, broke your heart, whatever, um, because they were hurting. And Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, I feel like there was a big lack of romance or even this person feeling sorry for what they did or what they caused or making any like romantic love gestures, sweeping you off your feet, that kind of a thing, I feel like was being blocked. I feel like this person was at some point either in their life or in relationships, very blocked off, very walls up, guard up, um, more of an air sign than, you know, a water sign, not wearing their heart on their sleeve, not showing uh, deep emotions. I feel like that's about to change. I feel like that's, a, yeah, they always like moved in silence or just kept things secret to themselves, not really expressive. That's going to change. You're going to get communication about this person's feelings. And it's going to, I feel po it's positive. It's not negative. I feel like it's going to go in your favor here. 
Uh, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Libra? How does this person truly feel about you? <laughs> Six of Wands. They want victory and success. I feel like this person is going to start holding you in high regard, putting you on a pedestal, um, giving you more attention, giving you the things that you deserve, want, need, crave. All right. I feel like that's going to start changing for you. This person sees victory and success when it comes to you. They've had a serious wake up call. They could have went in through a dark night of the soul. They could have gotten like they could have hurt you left you gotten hurt by somebody else and it clicked like wow i did this to my libra like hmm. <laughs> you know i feel like things are about to change for you yep look eight of pentacles they're willing to put in the work and effort now they want to work on this you guys could have met at work or worked together in the same field um, but i feel like this is them like i really want to clean this up i really want to put in the work and effort here The shadow side, devil card, Capricorn energy. See, they had, they had a, a dark night awakening here. It's repeated now three times. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy and the high priestess again, Scorpionic Pisces energy. That deep knowing, that following intuition, um, the Knight of Pentacles, that stable strong slow moving but very strong and stable like he's on a stallion not a pony you know it, it's male or female whatever but it's a, a knight <laughs> whatever um but i feel like this person is now listening to their intuition like i feel like you have a deep knowing you hear it you see the signs you know it deep down this is like your person your counterpart um they had to awaken to this and unfortunately it did maybe cause hurt and pain and all of that but it was a lesson it was a karmic lesson so i feel like this person's like acknowledging like i'm putting in the work and effort here libra to heal myself to overcome these shadow sides these dark deep things that i'm holding within they're working on that for this all right, so if there was a period of no no talk, contact, whatever, it's about to change. It's about to change. Yeah, Pisces energy, the hanged one. Perspective is changing, getting clarity, healing themselves for this Ten of Cups. You will give them this Ten of Cups and they will give it back to you. They see the ultimate happiness with you, long-term happiness, emotional fulfillment with you. We have the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Like this is going from let's restart this or if this is new, let's start this love and bring it here. Bring it home. <laughs> wow. There's the wheel. Things are going to start moving forward for you. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. A whole new chapter starting. A whole new chapter is starting. A karmic cycle has just been closed. Somebody learned a lesson here. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, Libra, um, you have free will and so do they. So it could change. And also, I'm not here to tell you what to do. So use your own discernment. I'm just reading the energies. All right. All right, what do we got? Libra, 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 potential outcome. Wow, Knight of Pentacles again. You could be dealing with a Virgo. There's Virgo, Virgo, Virgo energy coming up here. Doesn't have to be. Virgo is very methodical, grounded, slow moving, but practical, stable. All right. Um, knights aren't always the strongest. They're not a king or queen. Um, but I feel like this is that start. You're going to get some kind of like message or offering or this person is moving towards you. All right. Um, not away from you, towards you. It just might, might take a little longer than what you hoped or thought or wanted. Um, again, that turtle here, it's slow moving, but it's worth it. All right. All right, what else? Potential outcome. 
Five of Swords. All right, so resolving that inner conflict or if there was a lot of arguments, disputes, tit for tat, one-upping each other, too many people involved, I feel like you are finally, like, getting what you deserve in a good way, you know? Like, you fought for this. You held on to this. You didn't stop believing in this. And now it's like you, you know, you have that victory. The victory sword. All right, what else? I'm also getting, I never got this message from that, the five of swords. That, look at victory. What did I just say? That five of swords. So there's two on the ground and there's three, right? He's holding two and then one's like in his hand like that. It's like this. Three of swords. Like this person like pulled the swords out of the heart, healed it, mended it. And now it's like, I got my victory here. <laughs> What else? Yeah. After not seeing things clearly, after not expressing emotion, trying to be logical or, or making bad decisions or doing the things wrong or, or just being confused, not having clarity. That's done. And now wishes are going to be fulfilled here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, strong earth, seven of wands. You... Libra, <laughs> Libra, 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 you may have your uh, defenses up for a little bit here. When this person approaches you or tries to communicate with you, you, you might be emotionally cut off and you might be a little bit defensive towards this person. And you it might like you might have your walls up for a little bit here because I don't blame you of what happened you're gonna you guys are gonna move slow into this you need to rebuild that trust or or you know all of that all right what else potential outcome so that's communication six of swords eight of pentacles four of cups and the tower strength Eight of Cups to Two of Cups. All right. Yep. Yeah. Wow. 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 Libra. This is going to transform. Communication. That's what it's going to take. So you're going to have your walls up a little bit and maybe be on the, the fence here when it comes to this person because of what they put you through. But let me tell you, I feel like they really did learn a lesson here, all right? I'm not saying easily forgive them and forget. No, not saying that. They need to prove themselves. But it is going to cause this to move on to calmer waters. This person, give them a chance to explain. I feel like it's gonna be a really strong heart to heart. Um, after tower moment, scorpionic energy and feeling rejected, where like you just had to walk away or you're walking away from that type of energy in your life. You're not putting up with it anymore. That's what's giving you the strength and courage to bring this two of cups into play. This person wants to put in the work and effort. They're trying to gain some courage possibly to come towards you and talk to you. Finding the words to say, knowing, you know, the right time <laughs> for all of this, all right? I have communication here. It keeps coming up. This is a soulmate bond. That's why it's it was hard to let this go or it's hard for this person to let this go. That's why the universe gave this person a wake-up call. And it's like, I'm not dealing with tower moments anymore. I'm walking away from that. I don't want things to come crawl, uh, crumbling down or sudden shocking news. And towers, for the most part, yeah, it's bad, but there's a reason for it, all right? it It's the universe making things fall down and crumble so you can rebuild, all right? Um, so maybe when this person walked away or you felt like they rejected you, that's when everything came crumbling down. Um, 
but that's also what's bringing these wake up calls. All right. Um, I was laughing over here because we have temperance, divine timing, Sagittarius energy, going with the flow, having patience, divine timing. There's definitely something here with divine timing. The hermit, again, Virgo energy, second or third. I saw it kept coming out and then it finally fell out. And now it's here again. Dark night of the soul, wake up call, ghosting, no contact, whatever. That's going to change. Ace of Pentacles, into this strong, new, stable beginning, all right? The universe is delivering this here. And it's going to heal you, and it's going to be healing, all right? Um, after a time of heartbreak. And it's going to bring you into a higher level of commitment, possibly marriage, all right? If that's what you're going after here, and you've manifested it. All right, what you don't see coming or obstacles. What's going on here for Libra? Adventure. Yeah. An adventure, something different, something new, something, a new experience, something fun, exciting, adventurous. All right, I feel like <clears throat> an understanding. Yeah, see, there's a level of compassion that has to happen here. Um, I'm not justifying what this person did. I'm not sweeping it under the rug. I feel like a heart to heart needs to happen. And just know that this person, when they do open up and express themselves, I feel like it is genuine. Okay. I don't feel like they're being manipulative or trying to like pull on your heartstrings to get you back just to use you again or whatever. I feel like there is a genuine heart to heart conversation that's going to happen here. And I feel like that's calling for you to like just kind of be a little understanding as to what this person on a deep level was going through. All right. An awareness. Yeah. An awareness of it. Anything else? Anything else? Slowing down an inner voice. Yeah. Follow your intuition. A turtle again. Take this slow. And I feel like you already know that we have, we have Knight of Pentacles, we have turtles, slow movement here, baby steps with this, but definitely listen to your intuition or your inner voice. All right. All right. What else do we have for Libra? What other messages? What other messages? Cycles. Mm-hmm. Momentum, force, life cycle. Stay grounded in the now. There was a cycle here that completed. Um, and healing is going to take place. Healing is going to take place. All right. Self-care time out. Be gentle with yourself and your twin. All right. Doesn't, I know, I know easier said than done how much they hurt you. I get it. Trust me. I've been there, but I feel like this is genuine. The juice is worth the squeeze here. Libra memories, nostalgia, retention, attachment, reliving the past. Yeah, I saw that here. Your person's definitely thinking back on all of this. All right. Um, mystery, magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. This is a new new life, new beginning. It's going to be a big change from what you were used to or what this person did to you. It's completely, it's going to be a complete different experience this time around. Um, all right. All right, Libra. What else? What else do we have? All right, clock. See, need times takes blah, blah, blah. need time takes time. Time and cycles. Time to heal. Progress at the right time. Divine timing. This is going to come together and happen. Love, unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, and heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. I feel like you're coming out of this. When this person does communicate or reach out to you, I feel like it's going to open those doors up again. And unconditional love is going to be here. All right. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Look, soulmate. Yeah. Yeah. Soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Yeah, definitely. You guys definitely. All right, Libra, that is what I have for you.